Hi, good day everyone. This video is about the equation of a circle. So sa screen natin, nandito yung um, formula or theorem na ginagamit natin. So this is the standard form of an equation of a circle. We're in the equation daw of a circle centered at h, k having a radius of length r is this. We have quantity of x minus h squared plus y or quantity of y minus k squared is equals to r squared. We're in Yung values ng h and k indicate that the circle is translated h units horizontally. Okay, that means your x value. And we have this k units vertically or yung y value from the origin. Okay, now there are cases wherein, um, for example, we are asked to solve for the equation of a circle uh, wherein the center is at the origin. So, pag sinabi natin origin, so that is the intersection of x and y axis wherein h is 0 and y is also equal to 0. Okay? If that's the case, so pag sinabi natin siya with use of this formula, so ang magiging formula na gagamitin na natin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Alright? So, that is for the center, okay, at origin. Now, let's try to answer this given problem. Right, so for example, we are asked to solve, okay, or give or write the equation of a circle given the center at point five comma three, and we have this radius of four. All right, so again, since we have this center, so we have this given value automatically. Um, the center is written as h comma k. So sa case natin, the value of h is equals to five, okay, and then the value of k, yun naman yung three. Okay, so just use the formula and then just substitute all of the values sa ating given formula. So again, our formula is quantity of x minus h squared plus quantity of y minus k squared is equals to r squared. So just replace or substitute all of the values. So we have x minus h. So the value of h is equals to 5 squared, right, plus quantity of y minus k. So the value of k this time is 3. Okay, squared is equals to r squared. So the value of r, according to our given, that is 4. So we have 4 squared. Right? So after that, just simplify. So usually, ang sili simplify lang dito is yung pinaka last unit or yung pinaka last number, which is our radius. Okay? So again, therefore, it will give us x minus 5 squared. Okay? Plus y minus 3 squared is equals to 4 squared and that is equals to 16. And that's it. So that is the standard form of this given equation of a circle. Okay? Next, for our example number 2. So again, same procedure. For example, we are asked to write the equation of a circle where in the center is at point 3 comma negative 4 and the radius of 5. Same procedure. So, ang case natin ngayon, the value of 3 will serve as h. And the value of negative 4 is the value of k. And then we have this 5 as our radius. So let's write our formula. Again, that is quantity of x minus h squared plus quantity of y minus k squared. And that is equals to r squared. So let's substitute all of the values. Okay? So again, kakaroon tayo ng x minus h. So the value of our h here is 3. So we have 3 squared plus quantity of y minus k. So the value of k this time is negative 4. So let's write negative 4. And that is squared is equals to r squared. So the value of r is, we have 5 squared. Okay? Yeah. So this time, after that, after that, we substitute, simplify na natin yung ating given expression. So therefore, magkakaroon tayo ng x, or quantity of x minus 3 squared, plus quantity of y. So this time, we have this negative of negative 4. Automatically, magiging positive yung ating sign. So we have plus 4 squared is equals to 5 squared. So 5 times 5, that is equals to 25. And that's it. So ito na yung pinaka-final answer natin for this given problem. Okay? Next, example number 3. So for example, we are asked to write the equation of a circle where in your center naman natin is at the origin and we have this radius of 3. So if that's the case, automatically, the value of h is 0 and k is equals to 0. Kasi origin means the intersection of x and y axis. Okay? Ang coordinate niya ay 0, 0. So therefore, gagamitin natin ngayon yung ating 
formula kanina, which is yung x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared. So, just substitute the value of our radius, okay? Therefore, the formula is, or the equation is, x squared plus y squared is equals to r. The value of r is 3 squared, okay? So, let's simplify this. Therefore, we have x squared plus y squared is equals to 3 times 3, okay? Or 3 squared, that is equals to 9. So, ito na yung ating pinaka formula or equation of this um, circle. Now, if you want to substitute um, the given values with the use of this formula, okay, kung gusto mo gamitin yung given formula natin na center at h comma k, so just substitute the value of h as 0 and k as 0. So, same lang yung answer na makukuha natin. Okay? Next, for example number 4, let's say we're asked to write the equation of a circle where in yung center natin is at point negative 2 comma negative 5 and instead na radius yung given natin, point on a circle naman, okay? So, a point on a circle, wherein meron tayong 1 comma negative 5. So, ano yung gagawin natin it, if ito yung case natin? Again, same procedure, the value of h will serve as negative 2, and the value of k, ito naman yung negative 5, okay? So, ang problem natin ngayon, what will be the possible value of our radius, okay? Kasi kailangan natin dito sa ating mismong problem na may given center tayo, at dapat given din yung ating radius. So, sa case natin, kung gusto natin siyang i-graph, okay, with use of this um, Cartesian plane. So, construct tayo ng Cartesian plane. Alright. So, sa isang Cartesian plane, kapag pinalat natin yung negative 2 comma negative 5, so for example, we have negative 1, negative 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have this point, negative 2 comma negative 5, and Kapag pinalat naman natin yung point on a circle, that means if we have the circle, eh, um, part siya ng mismong circle, dun siya mismo nakaplot. So we have this 1 comma negative 5. So that is positive number 1 comma negative 5. We have this point. So ang test natin para makuha natin yung radius is to determine the distance of this point up to this point. Okay? So this is our center and this is the point of a circle. Therefore, Kapag dinaretso natin yung circle na to, or nag-create tayo ng circle, possible na meron tayong circle dito. Alright? So, ano ngayon yung value ng ating radius? So, para makanap natin yung value ng ating radius, kailangan natin mag-apply ng distance formula. Alright? So, muna natin yung distance ng point C up to this point of a circle, which is 1 comma negative 5, with the use of this formula. So, our formula is D is equals to square root of, okay? That is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, that is our distance formula. So, let's apply this given formula para makuha muna natin yung radius. Kapag nakuha na yung radius, tsaka na natin sisulat yung kanyang equation of a circle. So, let's solve. So, again, this um, negative 2 will serve as x sub 1. This negative 5 will serve as y sub 1. This 1 will serve as y sub x sub 2. Okay? And this negative 5 will serve as y sub 2. Or, yeah, yes, so y sub 2 siya. So, substitute natin. So, we have the square root of x sub 2. We have 1 minus x sub 1. We have negative 2 squared plus y sub 2. We have negative 5 minus x sub or y sub 1, which is negative 5 squared. Alright, so let's simplify this. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng square root of... 1 minus negative 2. So, that is um, negation of a negative number. So, magiging positive to, right? So, magiging 1 plus 2, magiging 3 ang ating value. So, we have 3 squared plus negative 5 minus negative 5, okay? So, magiging plus to. So, magiging negative 5 plus 5. So, magiging 0 squared siya. Okay? And the next, let's simplify this. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng square root of 3 squared is 9. So, plus 0. Right? In short, negative, um, positive 9 na lang tayo. So, square root of positive 9 is equals to, simplify natin. So, that is equals to, right? Simplify natin yung square root of 9. So, the answer is actually equals to positive or negative 3. Okay? Pero this time, since we're dealing with segments, hindi na tayo, or i-disregard natin yung mga negative values. So, in short, ang value ng ating r ay equals kay 3. Okay? So, the value of r is equals to 3. So, dito, pwedeng-pwede na natin isulat 
yung equation ng ating mismong circle. Okay? So, by using this um, radius as 3. So, yun yung distance ng ating point on a circle and yung ating mismong center. Okay, so let's write our formula. So again, same formula lang. We have this quantity of x minus h squared plus quantity of y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Okay, so let's substitute the values. We have x minus h. The value of h is negative 2. Okay, squared plus quantity of y minus k. The value of r k is negative 5. Squared is equals to r. The value of r is 3. And that is squared. Okay, so just simplify this and then that's it. So yun yung magiging pinaka-answer natin. Therefore, we have this quantity of x. So we have negative of negative 2. So magiging positive siya. So x plus 2 squared plus quantity of y. We have this negative of negative 5. Magiging plus ulit. So we have y plus 5 squared is equals to 3 squared or simply 3 times 3. So ang answer natin ay 9. So that's it. So that is our equation of a circle. Okay, and then next for our last example, example number five, right? So for example, we are asked to write the equation of a circle where in the diameter, which endpoints are two comma three and eight comma three. This time, wala tayong center, pero meron tayong diameter of a circle. So on given problem natin, so kung ito yung ating mismong circle, so yung first point natin dito sa dalawang um, end points in diameter. Our first point is 2 comma 3 and our second point is 8 comma 3. So, para maharap natin yung center ng ating um, circle, since that is the diameter, automatically, we need to use the concept of midpoint. Okay? So, the midpoint of this given diameter is the center of our circle. So, kailangan muna natin siya mahanap before natin gamitin or isulat yung kanyang equation. Okay? So, let's use midpoint formula. Again, the midpoint formula is equals to, just add the x values, x sub 1 plus x sub 2, right, divided by 2, comma, y sub 1 plus y sub 2, divided by 2. So, that is the midpoint formula. So, let's um, solve. So, what will be the midpoint of 2, comma, 3 and 8, comma, 3? So, solve natin. We have x sub 1, we have 2, plus x sub 2, we have 8, divided by 2, comma, y sub 1, we have 3, plus y sub 2, that is another 3, divided by 2. Okay, therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint of this diameter is 2 plus 8, that is 10, all over, all over 2, sorry. So, 10 all over 2, comma, 3 plus 3, that is 6, all over 2. So, we have 6 all over 2. So, the coordinate is 10 divided by 2, that is at point 5, comma, 6 divided by 2, 3. So, we have this midpoint as 5, comma, 3. And that midpoint is actually the center of our given circle. So, ang center natin ngayon ay 5, comma, 3. Okay? So, gamit yung detail na to, pwede na natin masulat yung ating mismong equation of a circle. Pero, ang problem naman, pangalawang case natin is, or problem is, ano naman yung value ng ating um, radius. Okay? So, wala tayong radius na given, diameter lang. So, para makuha natin yung value ng ating radius, so, from the center, okay, isasolve naman natin yun, yung distance. Okay? Distance ng center up to one endpoint. Kahit anong endpoint dyan. Alright? So, let's solve. So, again, the value of our center is at point 5, gamma 3. And we have this points. Okay, yung first point natin ay 2, gamma 3. And then, yung second end point natin ay 8, gamma 3. So, individually, solve natin yung kanilang distance sa ating mismong center. So, the value of our center is at point 5, gamma 3. Right, so let's solve. So again, we have this distance formula. So that is equals to square root of quantity of x sub two. So let's use um, this set of pairs muna. Okay. So we have this x sub two that is um, five. All right, we have five minus x sub one. We have two squared plus y sub two. We have three 
minus y sub 1, we have 3 squared. Okay? So, it will give us this equals to 5 minus 2, that is equals to square root of 3 squared plus 3 minus 2, that is 0. So, 0 siya. Therefore, we have this square root of 3 squared, that is 9. And square root of 3 is equals to positive 3. Okay? So, yung first natin na reduce ay 3. Okay? Yun yung distance ng 2 comma 3 sa ating center. Double check naman natin sa kabila kung same lang din ba yung magiging answer. So, let's use the same formula again. Distance formula is equals to square root of x sub 2. So, yung x sub 2 naman natin yun ay 8. So, we have 8 minus x sub 1. We have 5 squared plus y sub 2. We have this 3. Minus y sub 1 we have 3 squared. Okay? And that is equals to square root of 8 minus 5, that is 3 squared, plus 3 minus 3, that is 0. Okay? So this time, magkakaroon tayo ng negative, or 3 squared, okay? So that is square root of 9, and the value of square root of 9 is equals to 3. Okay? So since equal sila ng dalawa, automatically, we have this correct set of distance from the endpoints sa ating mismong center. So, if equal sila, automatically, the value of our radius this time is equals to 3. Okay? So, yan. So, kompleto na yung details na kailangan natin para maisulat natin yung ating equation of a circle. So, number 1 is center. So, the value of our center is 5, comma 3 and our radius which is positive 3. Right? So, I will rewrite our given. So, we have the center at 5, comma 3 and the radius of 3. So, let's write our formula, or equation. So, again, that is equals to x, or quantity of x, minus h squared, plus quantity of y minus k squared, and that is equals to r squared. Okay? So, let's substitute the values. We have x minus h. h is 5 squared plus y minus k. k is 3. And we have this radius of 3 squared. Okay? So, let's simplify this. We have x minus 5 squared plus quantity of y minus 3 squared is equals to 3 squared or simply 9. So, that is our final answer. Alright? So, thank you so much and God bless.